Alrighty. Well, I hit the wrong button, so now I have to start over. So, good morning again, YouTubers. It is 1.41 a.m. on the 29th of January, 2013th. It is Tuesday morning. Super Bowl is in five days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Five days away. I hope it I hope it just passes by. I really do. I hope I'm wrong. I hope my feelings are wrong. I've been I seen somebody had mentioned in one of their videos, Mark and I was drawn to it, so I wrote it down. Mark thirteen, five through eight. Watchers, this is for you. I'm being told to tell you guys that we have to stand tall. We have to get the word out. Repent, 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 repent. And Jesus began to say to them, See to it that no one misleads you. Many will come in my name saying, I am he, and will mislead you. You will hear of wars and rumors of war. Do not be frightened. Those things must take place. But this is not yet the end. For nation will rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will also be famines. These things are merely the beginning of birth pains. It's only the beginning. It's not the end. It's only the beginning. We have to stand tall. We have to be firm. Us watchers have to preach it. We have to teach it. We have to get souls saved. It is the end. You guys who wanted to put it off until the end. The end is nigh. And if you don't know that, the end is now. In English. You want layman's turn? Repent now before it's too late. Repent now before you see Jesus on that cloud. And you're like, oh, fuck. Because I said, oh, fuck. No, I did it like that on deliverance. It, it was so that it made it sound like it to prove a point. No, I didn't say a bad word. I said fa. Fa. F A. Fa. Fa. Right, that's a point. Exactly. It's a syllable. We have to stand together. We have to get the soul saved. We have to. We have to. We have to. We have to. We have to stand united. If you know of other people, send them to my page so I can add them. We have to add them on our pages so that we know who is on our side and who is not, who we can go to if need be. In the end, before the end, before he comes, when the when we're running to save our souls from the mark of the beast, we are going to need to know who we can depend on, watchers. Who's there for us? And we're going to have to stick together. All Christians are going to have to stick together. Because we will be hunted like dogs. Because we stand with our Lord. But you know what? Even if they do find us, that's one step closer to God. Because if we refuse the mark, death is one step closer to God. If you don't know Jesus and you're watching this, and 
and you're ready. You want to pray? You're ready? The sinner's prayer. When you recognize the need, when you know it's time, when you know that it's time, you say, Father, I know that I have broken your laws, and my sins have separated me from you. I am truly, truly sorry. And now I want to turn away from my past sinful life towards you, dear Lord. Jesus, please forgive me and help me avoid sinning again. I believe that your Son, Jesus Christ, died for my sins, was resurrected from the dead, is alive, he hears my prayers. I invite Jesus to become the Lord of my life, to rule and reign in my heart from this day forward. From this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest, for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. If you just decided to repent your sins, and you just accepted Christ into your life, congratulations and welcome to God's family. If you did, if, if you want, please put a comment down below, let us know. And if you don't want to put a, you know, a comment so everybody knows, send me a personal comment so that at least I know. So then I won't use your name, but I want to give testimony that, you know, when you give testimony saying that we saved another soul, it, it helps keep us going and keeps us knowing, you know, it helps keep us going that we know that we're able to help other Christians and know that we're doing our job. So if I was able to save even one soul tonight, please let me know. My brothers and my sisters, I feel it. I know it's getting closer. I know it's closer. He's he is right there. He he is so close to he can't, he the sins of this world is making them sick. They cannot stand it. God cannot stand watching his children fornicate sin the way that this world has turned out. He, 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 it makes him sick, and I know it does, because I can look out and see what people are doing, and it makes me sick. And I don't, I don't like to judge people, but the, oh my goodness, North Korea over there, they're starving their peoples, where the mothers are eating, and fathers are eating their children. Oh dear Lord, I want to pray for them. Let them have food. Send them manna so that they don't have to eat their kids, dear Lord. There should be no family that have to eat their children to survive. Send them manna. Please, dear Lord. In your holy name I pray. Amen. If you need me to pray for you, I will. A co-worker, an enemy, a friend, a family member. I'll even pray for Obama for you if you'd like me to. I will pray for anybody. I'll even pray for a sick animal because there are animals with souls my animals my cats my cats they're amazing I can all they they have souls I can tell my cats they always know when I'm not feeling good and they jump up and they rub up on me and give me love and that you can tell me that ain't a soul they have souls because otherwise why would God have put them here besides for food? Why would he have made domesticated animals besides for company? All right, my brother and sisters. Peace. Keep safe. I love you.